I was due to uh, give a short talk at the launch of the uh, Talk About Generation report uh, on March uh, 22nd. That was due to happen at uh, Palace Westminster, but unfortunately due to that uh, terrible attack that day, uh, it was cancelled. Instead, you've got me at home with uh, my uh, cup of tea and a biscuit. OK, so hopefully I can live up to expectation. So um, Hackney was cited twice in the Talk About a Generation report. Um, and despite the public image of Hackney being some kind of hipsterville, we're still the 11th most deprived borough in the country or local authority in the country. Uh, we still have a, one of the highest levels of social housing and some of the most deprived schools in the country as well. OK, but now for the history lesson. So 13 years ago, the Hackney Speech and Language Therapy Service was in a terrible state. We had uh, three commissioners and three services. It was disjointed um, and there were lots of gaps. There was no service for children without a statement of special educational need, for example. There were, there were pockets of excellence, but outside uh, those pockets of excellence, there were very poor services. We had a review of our service by a team from City University. And then on the back of that, a service redesign. As you can imagine, the service redesign was uh, rather painful. But what kept us going was really that the service needed to change and improve for the children and families that we worked for. And that service redesign really laid down the foundations and the foundation principles that have carried us through to this day. Fundamental to that uh, has been the integration of um, health and um, education. So, for instance, all of our staff, irrespective of the contract of employment, uh, have two badges. OK, so we have a education badge and a health badge. OK, so that everyone can see that we're from the same service. We have two budgets um, and we're not jointly commissioned, but we integrate that together at service level. It's complicated behind the scenes, but for families uh, and for schools, it makes sense to be one service. There's one point of contact. So a parent goes to the GP, the health visitor, children's centre or to school, you know, they can they get referred on to the what same place. And our Get Hackney Talking website presents that unified service to the wider to the wider world. Many children will need contact with speech language therapy services, you know, across a, a different points across a number of years. If services are run separately and have different criteria, this is confusing and frustrating and only the persistent will manage to get through that and access services. Many others are likely to fall through the gaps and those who fall through the gaps are most likely to be the socially deprived. In Hackney, we have built uh, a, a comprehensive service. OK, so we have staff everywhere where there are children and young people from the neonatal unit to the children's centres, to the nursery schools, to the primary schools, to specialist resources, special schools, uh, secondary schools and academies, further education colleges, uh, where else? Youth offending team uh, and the virtual school for looked after children. OK, and just a little bit in clinic. OK, it's comprehensive, but it all works as one system. When we attract new funding, this is integrated into the main service so we don't create um, silos. OK, key to the service's success has been our relationships with schools. We take the core local education authority funding and the core NHS funding and we combine this and we allocate this to schools in a transparent manner. Schools then have the option of commissioning extra through traded services. The additional traded services combined so that in schools is delivered as one service. Using the unified funding, uh, we offer a comprehensive service in schools with input at the universal, targeted and specialist levels. At Universal or Wave 1, we train staff so that are able to promote language in class uh, for all children, yeah, but also to identify the needs of those who need further support. At Targeted or Wave 2 level, we support the school staff to become skilled so they can run interventions for those who need extra support. At Specialist or Wave 3, we work directly with children with the highest level needs. By working in partnerships with schools, we're able to build efficient systems that support a wide range of speech, language and communication needs. But as you know, 
School budgets are precarious and uh, the times ahead are undoubtedly going to be tough. However, schools know that many children are starting school without the necessary language skills to access the curriculum. They know that these children are not going to succeed and reach their potential without language, improved, language, uh, improved spoken language skills. Okay, but many schools don't have the, the tools to be able to develop children's language. Services need to innovate and target funding such as the People Premium, as we've done in Hackney for, with our Launchpad for Language. Our Youth Offending Team is also cited in the Talk About Generation report, so, but it's, also, it's a good opportunity to see our system in practice as well as being an outstanding piece of work. Our staff, speech and language therapy staff, are co-located in the Youth Offending Team, so they have, to, they have daily contact with the staff there but also work in other parts of the speech and language therapy service. So they're linked um, and develop new services that fit with the whole. Within the youth offending team, they deliver uh, services at the universal targeted and specialist. So you can see this, that model in, in place there. So they train staff, produce resources, as well as conducting that direct work assessment and identifying needs and intervention. We've been running this integrated model now in Hackney for the past 12 years. It's been adapted, refined and evolved. Day to day, it's not easy. Uh, there are many future challenges ahead, but it's an effective way to, to make a difference to those, with, uh, for, to those who are socially disadvantaged. The uh, Talk About a Generation report is excellent and I really uh, suggest you read it. So contact the Communication Trust to get your copy. Thank you.